coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert. Awarded the AMS seal of approval by the American Meteorological Society. Indiana State University's campus was alive with students enjoying this beautiful weather today. Some were walking to class, others just sitting back and relaxing by the fountain. News 10's chief photojournalist Tony Cassasia shot this video for us this morning. This, you know, he's always anxious to go over to the campus of ISU. I'm not quite sure why, but anyhow, Tony, thanks for doing that. Well, uh, an update, Hurricane Adelia now is a Category 2. As you can see, it's still swirling around out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, uh, CBS News with Nora. We'll have more about that tonight at 6 uh, 30. So an isolated shower is possible tonight, uh, perhaps one or two as a weak cold front moves through. But then a, a, just a really nice day tomorrow, a very pleasant day tomorrow. In fact, a bit cooler perhaps than what it was today. So today we've been able to get up to 83. Tomorrow we might not even hit 80 degrees, but that's okay. I think most people really enjoy this uh, kind of weather, but if you like warmer air, well, slowly warmer as we trend into the weekend. And so a little something for everybody. Friday, 83, Saturday, 88, Sunday, 91. Here's a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. But if we go farther to the north, you can see right here. See, we have these little showers that are eventually going to try to make their way here into the News 10 viewing area. I put a motion here on this and you can see how this is moving through. I really don't think everybody's going to get rain tonight, but it's possible some of you could experience a little bit of a shower. See, here's 10 o'clock on the future cast and here's uh, midnight tonight. So this is not an all night thing. No big storms, uh, nothing like we had last Friday uh, when some storms went bumping through. So actually it's going to be an OK night, a mostly clear sky and comfortable uh, temperature, though, uh, dropping into the 70s, and then eventually into the 50s for overnight. Uh, the sun will rise tomorrow morning at 7.15. That was the same sunrise we had today, 7.15. So it's slowing down just a little bit. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a nice gradual warming trend, uh, but no great chance of rain. So if you want to preserve your flowers or your garden and so on, watering is a good idea. Forecast for tonight, 56, mostly clear, some isolated showers briefly. And then for tomorrow, a high of uh, 76. So today it was 83. And rather breezy tomorrow. I think you're really going to like tomorrow if you like this kind of weather. If you really like this kind of weather, you're going to really like tomorrow. Rather breezy, 10 to 15 mile an hour breeze from the north northeast, sometimes gusting a little bit more than that. And then for tomorrow night, 51, clear and cool, uh, a full blue super moon. It is the second full moon of the month of August, and so it qualifies to be a blue moon. And not only that, it's close to Earth, so we call it a super moon. How about that? So kind of neat. So the seven day forecast, uh, no great chance of rain coming up anytime soon, but gradually warmer as we uh, exit the month of August and start to uh, move into September. So it looks like September is going to be off to a warm start, start, but dry. Susie. 